Welcome back to the channel, everyone. This is Extinguisher 10, and today I am predicting what's going to happen in this year's NFL playoffs. If you want to find out what Madden thinks will happen in the NFL playoffs, that video was released yesterday, and you can check it out right about up there. But without further ado, let's jump into the predictions. And to do this, I am using playoffpredictors.com. It's fun, but it is uh, loaded with ads, as you can see. Loaded, loaded, loaded. So I'm going to just start upper left, go down, go right. So our first game here, we have the Baltimore Ravens at the Tennessee Titans. I think these are two very good teams. I don't know about great. Baltimore has been really disappointing to me this year. I thought they were going to be better. They're still good. They're just not as good as I expected. Tennessee, on the other hand, is exactly who I thought they were going to be which I thought Baltimore was a lot better. So that makes this matchup that much tougher. So I don't know. Normally in cases like this, I go for the home team, but being there's not really people in the crowds, the home field advantage is a little thinner. Of course, there's travel and all that. But I, whew, I still like Baltimore. I'm going to go with Baltimore for the win. Next up, we have the number six Cleveland at the number three Pittsburgh, and Pittsburgh has looked really bad as of late. They looked fantastic. They looked amazing at the beginning of the season. It was like, why aren't they losing? They should be losing, but you're not. And then they just wah, fell right off. Cleveland, on the other hand, has been okay. They've been decent. They've been good. At times they looked great, but at times they've looked very human. There again, I tend to shy more towards the home team, but Cleveland, sorry, not Cleveland, Pittsburgh has been so, so cold lately. I'm going to go with Cleveland for the second straight road victory. Now for the last one in the AFC, we have the seven Colts at the number two Bills. And these are two very flawed quarterbacks that we have going on here with two solid defenses. And I, uh, I I just got to go with the Bills. I am just not a believer in Phillip Rivers. He's old. He's overrated. Yeah, I know. I know. He's put up some real video game stats in his career. But you know what? Everyone has during his era. Josh Allen, he has really improved over the last few years. And is he amazing? No. But at times, he looks very dangerous. And I think he's a solid quarterback at this point. So I'm going with the Bills. And so next up, we have the number five Tampa Bay Buccaneers at the number four Washington Potatoes. And let's face it, this is a Tom Brady-led team with an amazing offense and a very good defensive coordinator, even though the defense isn't that good. I think he's scheming up these guys. There's not a lot of talent on that side of the ball. There, there is talent but they're not loaded. I think he's making the play better than they uh, better than they are. Versus the Potatoes, which are the division winner of the worst division in the history of football, or at least to my knowledge. So this is easy. I'm going Tampa Bay. Next up, we have the Los Angeles Rams at the Seattle Seahawks, number six versus a number three. And the Rams have an amazing defense with maybe the two best defensive players in the league in Jalen Ramsey and of course Aaron Donald but that offense it's shaky it's they have an amazing head coach who can really scheme up an offense but I think there's only so far that offense can take them and with Jared Goff either missing the start or playing but playing with an injured hand a throwing hand I just cannot predict that that team also on the road is going to win because you're taking on Russell Wilson, the winningest quarterback since he came into the league. A Seattle Seahawks offense, which has been a surprisingly good this year. Very good. And a defense that was on pace to be record-breakingly bad at the beginning of the season. But the last third or so of the season, they have turned into a average defense which when you have a fantastic offense an average defense is sometimes enough and i think it is enough for this victory and then next up we have the number seven chicago bears at the number two new orleans saints and it's kind of two opposites we have the bears with a fantastic defense the saints with a fantastic offense 
the Bears with a horrible quarterback, the Saints with a Hall of Fame quarterback. Granted, he's looking very human these days, but he's still looking pretty good. And as much as I believe in defense and I've seen the Saints choke in the playoffs in recent years, I'm going to ride the Saints train one more time, just like I've done in years past. I think they have to get past the Chicago Bears. So now we have, back in the AFC, the number five Baltimore Ravens at the number two Buffalo Bills. And this is where the rubber meets the road, people. I, oh, this is so tough. Two dynamic, amazing quarterbacks. Well, I don't know about amazing with Josh Allen, but sometimes he makes amazing plays. Two great defenses. I, oh boy, I was planning on, at the beginning of the year, I think I picked the Ravens to get it, to get past this round, but I don't know. I think I have to go with the Buffalo Bills. We're going to go with the Bills. Wow, I can't believe that. <laughs> and now we have the number six Cleveland Browns at the number one Kansas City Chiefs. And I think... The Chiefs are the best team in the league right now. I don't think there's any doubt they have the best quarterback. They have an adequate defense, fantastic receivers, and a good running game. I just can't pick them against what is kind of a B, B- kind of team. It's easy. So now over to the NFC. We have the number three Seahawks at the number two Saints. And boy, we have two fantastic quarterbacks in this matchup. We have two adequate defenses in this matchup. We have two fantastic running games in this matchup. On paper, it's really close. And boy, I mean, the Seahawks have this tendency of coming up clutch. But they also have this tendency of not doing as well on the road as they do at home. I, I mean, they've done better in recent years on the road. But I don't know if they can pull this out. But the Saints have also choked in the last several years. I'm really torn. I think I'm going to go with the Seahawks. They've been hot this year. So now we have the number five Tampa Bay Bucks versus the number one Green Bay Packers. You have two Hall of Fame, maybe the two best quarterbacks of all time in this matchup. The Packers, they have a very flawed defense, but they have a great pass rush and a fantastic corner, one of the best in the game versus... The Tampa Bay Bucks, their defense, I've already talked about it. It's playing up at this point, uh, but they, they do have some good players. Boy, it's hard It's hard to choose against Brady, but I got to go with Rodgers. He's been looking good this year, and so have the Packers. So now, in the AFC Championship game, we have the number two Buffalo Bills. Oh, God, I went with Chalk because we have the number one Kansas City Chiefs hosting them. And I, I there's not much to say. The, the Chiefs are amazing. I think they're uh, they're going to a second straight Super Bowl. Simple as that. But I think this will be a fantastic game if we get to see it with the two dynamic quarterbacks. I think just Patrick Mahomes is just that much better. And the overall team is just that much better. So now we have in the NFC a matchup of an NFC championship game of, I don't remember how many years ago, like four years ago, five years ago. The number three Seahawks at the number one Green Bay Packers. Two adequate defenses, two fantastic offenses, two dynamic quarterbacks. And, oh, I have not decided who I was going to do going into this, and I'm having trouble with this one. Seahawks are hot this year, but so are the Green Bay Packers. And I, I'm going to go with the Packers in this one. I think that... The Packers have done enough this year. They have that home field advantage. And I think this is where the Seahawks story is going to end this year. I don't feel confident about this one because the Seahawks tend to come up pretty clutch. But it's Aaron Rodgers. They've been great this year. The Packers, I think he's going to pull it out and get them to that Super Bowl. So now, of course, you know who's in the Super Bowl. You have... Oh, God. I, I went with Chuck. I went with the number one Kansas City Chiefs versus the number one Green Bay Packers. That was about as boring as that could get. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think even if I chose the Seahawks, I would make this choice. It's, it's, I'm, don't, 
I don't even have too much to say about it because I think the Kansas City Chiefs are just the best team in football this year. And I might have even chose them in my uh, preseason predictions. I at least had them going very deep. I might, uh, I might put up a little card right there to my preseason video so you can see if I came close to the same thing. But what do you think? Do you think the Kansas City Chiefs are going to go all the way? How about the Green Bay Packers? Do you have another team that you predict is going to make it to the Super Bowl and eventually win it? I want to know. Tell me down in the comment section below what you think. Let's have a nice lively discussion. This should be a lot of fun. I think there's some great matchups that we can see in this year's playoffs. And if you want to see more content like this, just jump on down, hit that big red subscribe button below, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. And as always, if you did enjoy this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave her a big ol' like. It really helps out the channel. But until next time, this is Extinguisher10 signing out. Have a great rest of your day. See you, chump. <laughs>